Coach Borelli, day one, MAC tournament, uh, a very different MAC tournament, you know, compared to ones in the past. Not six teams anymore, nine teams, and we're talking nails. Tough tournament. You guys had some tough ones go against you. Talk about 125 with uh, Peters and Keener, Coach. Uh, you know, we just got to make our own breaks. You know, we didn't make our breaks. Um, we're up six to three in that match with short time left, and we get the match taken into. Uh, sudden victory and we get taken down in sudden victory you know we're very capable of winning that match not taking anything away from Peters but you know we have to keep wrestling we have to score the points to win the match you know or be good enough to keep the lead you know and we didn't make it happen um, 141 was a barn burner match between us and Northern Iowa Lazar you know um, that's two matches I feel like could have gone either way I'm sure Northern Iowa doesn't feel the same way but uh, you know we win those two matches and we win the match at 174. We've got five guys in the finals and we're right in the middle of this thing and that changes uh, the whole dynamic of the tournament. That's how key, how good the tournament is this year. 174, you know, it was bizarre what was going on with the clock. Uh, I thought that really benefit, benefited Walters. Uh, you know, he's injured, he's had injuries, but you know, he, he wins the match against Ottinger, all types of clock issues. What do you say to your guy, you know, to get him to fight back? There's five bids at that weight. Yeah, you can't say much, you know, those things happen, you know, that's just a part of the sport. Um, you know, I don't know what you can say. <laughs> it was just, you know, the clock situation wasn't good. Um, gave, uh, you know, both, actually both guys had the same amount of rest, you know, but um, I felt like, um, you know, it might have benefited Walters a little bit more than, than Mike Ottinger, but I, you know, that's, those things happen. You know, you, you got to be good enough to overcome those things. Now we got to put that past us and we got to fight back for third, fourth place, get into the third, fourth place match and get to the nationals. And, I mean, those, those guys are capable of scoring points at the national tournament, you know, so we just have to get them there. I look at guys like Haran, you know, I'm just like, I think he's nails. I think Haran's guy that is is an All-American guy this year at 141. I think he's solid. Obviously, Mike's right there. His match with Andrew Howe told me a lot about him. But Joe Roth is my guy. I'm a huge Joe Roth fan. Talk about Joe Roth and what Joe Roth's doing differently and how he, I, I think he's an All-American coach. Well, you know, this year he's he's at a weight where he's comfortable. We've had him at 25 up until this year, and I think he feels a lot better at 33. He's a, a fast twitch guy, real explosive guy, so, you know, cutting weight is, is probably not the best thing for him. We figured that out, and we've got him at the right weight. Uh, he's got a great match tomorrow. You know, he's got the number one guy in the country tomorrow, so um, we, we have to wrestle well. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No. How many other finals? Smith. Smith's a final. Smith's tough. He's, he's a... He's a guy that's coming into his own a little bit, you know. Um, we'd like for him to um, be a little more polished on his feet, but he'll, he'll get there. All right, Coach. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck to all your finalists. See how many guys you can qualify to OKC. Thank you.